Hello, welcome to Storytime with Judy. Our book today is Sally B. Writes a Thank You Note by Courtney Sheenmail and illustrated by Heather Ross. Well, Sally gets a present from her grandmother and she decides she wants to send her a text, but then she decides it would be better if she wrote a thank you note. Well, she loved writing that thank you note so much that she started writing everybody thank you notes. Let's find out what happens. On Monday, there was a surprise in the mail for Sally. It was not Sally's birthday. It was not a holiday. It was just an ordinary day. Dear Sally, I made this scarf for you. Love, Grandma B. Mom, Sally called. I need to send a text. After one minute, Sally's mom was still on the phone. And five minutes after that, she was still on the phone. And ten minutes after that, she was still on the phone. Sally wrote down her text so she remembered to send it. Thanks, Grandma. But wait, how would Grandma know Sally was thanking her for? I love the new scarf. It has two of my most favorite colors. And how would Grandma know how it made Sally feel? Outside, the wind was blowing. It was the perfect time to have a new scarf. Thanks, Grandma. I love my new scarf. It has two of my most favorite colors. It makes me feel cozy. Every time I wear it, I will think of you. Mom, I need to send a long text. That's not a text. That's a thank you note. Now all you need to do is sign your name. Thanks, Grandma. I love the new scarf. It has two of my most favorite colors. It makes me feel cozy every time I wear it. I will think of you. Love, Sally. I also need to add some swirlies, Sally said. Mom gave her an envelope and a stamp. I can't wait to get another package. Then I can write another thank you note. The next day was Tuesday. Sally did not get any packages, so she didn't have a reason to write another thank you note. But she did get safely across the busy street. Maybe that deserved a thank you. Dear Mrs. Davis, thank you for making all the cars wait while we cross the street. It made me feel safe, and I really like your whistle. Love, Sally. On Wednesday, there were no packages, but Sally borrowed an umbrella. Dear Bus Buddy, thank you for letting me use your umbrella. When I got home, I was still dry. I hope you hope your hood didn't get too wet. Love, Sally. Thursday was taco day at school. Dear Ms. Myers, thank you for the scrumptious food. I'm happy we got to make our own tacos because I don't like beans. Love, Sally. And on Friday, her brother kept his tarantula in its cage all day. Dear Jack, thank you for not putting cuddles on my desk or on my dresser or on my bed. I felt happy because I wasn't scared. I hope you don't do it tomorrow either. Love, Sally. On Saturday, there was another surprise in the mail. It was an envelope with lots of swirlies addressed to Sally B. She couldn't wait to open it. Dear Sally, you wrote a lot of thank you notes this week, but here is one for you. Thank you for showing me how many reasons there are to write a thank you note. It makes me feel grateful for for lots of different things in my life, especially you. Love, Mom. Sally felt so cozy, like she was wrapped up in a warm scarf with her most favorite colors. Well, it's always nice to thank somebody when they do something nice for you, isn't it? And it's always fun to get mail or a, th or a card of some kind. So maybe you should try doing that. I hope you liked the story and I'll see you again tomorrow and don't forget to subscribe and like.